very conveniently, just before the upcoming National Day celebration. Our motherland has made revolutionary breakthroughs on achieving self-sufficiency in the key technology battle of the semiconductor with great strides in novel physics from particle accelerators to domestic chip making. This is very important and we couldn't be any happier about that, that the, that the chip war is clearly irrefutably being won by China and more importantly more interesting discoveries. So first of all, we were talking about how to defeat Taiwan, but actually it, Taiwan is not the top king of chips after all. So the actual top king is actually, you have to understand how chips are made. It's called lithography. Machines that actually etch and make the chips. And the king of chips is actually the, the Dutch, the Netherlands. So to understand the United States isn't actually a king of chips either. So what the power gives this impression. So basically, the, you can think about the United States as a puppet master. Basically, you know, Netherlands, this is what you do. Japan, this is what you do. South Korea, we need you to do this. Uh, you know, basically, we need you. You basically do this, do this, do that. But the actual king of chips is... A country that's called the Netherlands. So in the, the ultimate measure of victory is to ultimately, it's not really even Taiwan, because they import these machines from the Netherlands, okay? So to actually win the ultimate technology war is to be able to scale and to basically compete with this country much smaller than the United States. It could be bigger than Taiwan, but it, it's a country that's called the Netherlands. 